Lady Windermere syndrome refers to a pattern of pulmonary MAC infection seen typically in elderly or middle-aged white women who chronically suppress the normal cough reflex. A fastidious nature and a resistance to expectorate are believed to predispose such persons to infections with MAC. In 1992, two researchers published a report of six older women who developed a persistent cough along with night sweats, weight loss, and shortness of breath. The women were all healthy, thin, and had no history of smoking. All grew out mycobacterium avium intracellulary from their lung secretions. The syndrome is named after Lady Windermere, a fastidious character in Oscar Wilde's 1892 play Lady Windermere's Fan. In the play, Lady Windermere is in her early 20s and in robust health, had fastidious behavior and so possibly too proper to cough. This syndrome appears to be more common in thin females who have never smoked and who have no underlying lung disease. Voluntary suppression of cough, hence fastidious in these women is hypothesized to cause reduced clearance of secretions from the right middle lobe and lingular segments which have long and narrow bronchi with acute angulations and are more dependent on voluntary expectorations. Many patients have a high incidence of skeletal abnormalities including pectus excavatum, mild scoliosis and straight back. The diagnosis of Lady Windermere syndrome requires consistent symptoms with one of the following additional signs. Chest X-ray or CT scan showing evidence of right middle lobe or left lingual lobe infection. Sputum culture or bronchoalveolar lavage culture demonstrating the infection caused by MAC. Typical radiological manifestation is of bronchiectasis, central lobular nodules, and eventual scarring and volume loss affecting the middle lobe and lingula. Now a clinical presentation. A 75-year-old female with kyphosis presents with low-grade fever, fatigue, persistent cough, and purulent sputum. There was no history of postnasal drip, gastroesophageal reflux, anorexia, weight loss, or chest pain. Also, there was no history of tuberculosis in the past. The patient was not a smoker. Chest X-ray shows bilateral mid and lower zone interstitial opacities associated with dilated thick-walled bronchi. This is the zoomed section. This is the lateral view. Interstitial opacities with dilated thick walled bronchi are also seen here. CT scan of chest shows bronchiectasis in the middle lobe and lingula in part atelectatic. 